I, Douglas Ducote, an American patriot by the grace of God, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from enemies foreign and especially domestic. I, Douglas Ducote, an American patriot by the grace of God, do solemnly swear to support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America from enemies foreign and especially domestic. Say it with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, America. Today, the day before Thanksgiving, we have had, sadly, a terrorist attack right here in America. Something that I've been warning about for quite some time now is going to happen. And, sadly, because of this current administration and the way they treat our borders, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Today at 11.27 a.m., two individuals in a vehicle approached uh, the border checkpoint in New York, the border checkpoint with Canada. Whether or not the explosion was supposed to happen when it did or when they were physically in the checkpoint or past the checkpoint, we don't know at this time. Law enforcement is investigating it. It is an ongoing and fluid situation. Regardless, the vehicle exploded. It had lots of explosive type devices within it. It disintegrated into millions of pieces all over the place. Several people were injured. Several border agents were injured. To my knowledge at this time, the only deaths were those that were in the vehicle. There's been no indication as to who they were but we can just take a wild guess as to who they were and what their intentions were. Uh, before I continue with that, prior to this incident taking place today, there was something that was released that I'd like to share with you that's pretty damning and it kind of goes right along with what just happened today at 1127. If you are a Christian, a member of another religion, or even participate in your local Rotary Club or the Lions Club, Hamas also considers you an enemy, too. Hamas is using Gaza as an umbrella to be legitimate, says author and Middle East expert Wild Phrase. The reality is this is a jihadist movement, and it is manifesting itself in America and Canada and in Western Europe. We have never been at this level of danger in our democratic world. The Hamas Charter seeks to expand Islam to become the controlling religion across the globe, targeting any non-believer, which includes Main Street America. The terrorist group's guiding philosophy is detailed in the Covenant of the Islamic Resistant Movement, which was adopted on August 18, 1988. It says that the duty of every Muslim is jihad, and there is no solution to the Palestine questioning except through jihad, and says the Jews will not be pleased with thee, neither the Christians, until they follow the ways of Hamas. Israel is just a thick skin, though the rest of the international community that happens to be blocking them, says Phrase, who has written a book, Iran, an imperialist republic, and the U.S. policy. That explains how Tehran's proxies, like Hamas, spread their message of hate. They know our society very well. They are here, he said. Article 22 of Hamas Charter mentions an unspecified subject of its call for jihad. The American as apple pie businesses, community, and charitable organizations found throughout the nation, Rotary and Lions Clubs. Freemason is also on the list. The charter cites what it calls secret societies such as Freemason, Rotary Clubs and Alliance, and others in different parts of the world for the purpose of sabotaging societies and achieving Zionist interest. 
Hamas faults the humanitarian organizations, falsely accusing them of attempting to colonize many countries in order to enable them to exploit their resources and spread corruption. They are part of what the jihadists consider a sin, a national sin, he explained. They will go against them, they will go against the Freemasons, and they will go against every entity that is a social organization. FBI Director Christopher Wray, as I've reported on, and many of you are aware of this, has appeared before the House Committee on Homeland Security over the past several weeks, announcing that the Bureau has ramped up extensive investigations into Hamas in order to disrupt any potential Hamas-related attacks on the U.S. and shut down any financial support following the terrorist group. We keep our eyes and our sights on Hamas and have multiple investigations into individuals affiliated with the foreign terrorist organization right here in America, the director of the FBI said. We've seen a rogue gallery of foreign terrorist organizations call for attacks against Americans and our allies, he told the panel of members of Congress. We cannot and do not discount the possibility that Hamas or another foreign terrorist organization may exploit the current conflict to conduct attacks here in America. While FBI Director Ray explained that the Bureau is keeping a close eye on what impact recent events may have on those terrorist groups' intentions here in the United States and how those intentions might evolve, both the Rotary and Lions Club and their organizations are not political and are known for their vast volunteer and charitable work around the globe. Both the Rotary Club and the Lions said they have more than 1.4 million members and are engaged in a variety of humanitarian efforts, providing food programs, rebuilding communities, to fighting disease and providing clean water, sanitation, and hygiene. <sighs> Observers note, it's sad and revealing testament to the misguided philosophy of Hamas that it would ever consider those who help as worthy of its enemies. That was released earlier this morning. And then, bam, we have a terrorist attack in the northern part of New York on our Canadian border. Now, if that wasn't bad enough, the governor of New York, Kathy Hochul, downplayed the terrorist attack just a few minutes ago on the news. Some of you may have saw it. It was a live uh, press conference of her explaining what happened. Most of the press conference was her explaining that she saw the video of the car exploding and how you will be shocked at how high in the air it actually went as it exploded. Like that was her biggest talking point was how high in the air it went. And... She's calling it not a terrorist attack, but an unfortunate incident. And she said that at this time, no known or future incidents are pending. She also said that she has spoken to Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Maracas, FBI Director Christopher Wray, and the White House, all which are responsible for this, quote, incident and the deaths of hundreds of thousands of Americans because of their open border policies, allowing drugs, gangs, sex trafficking, human trafficking of women and children, and terrorists to come across our southern border. We know for a fact because FBI, FBI Director Ray made it very clear in Congress in the past two weeks during his testimony that right now, the most challenging time in the FBI's history is dealing with what's happening on our southern border. Our border agents are actively catching known terrorists that are on the terrorist watch list. They can't get in any other way. They can't come by ship. They can't come by plane. So they join the cartels and they come across our southern border. I also made it very clear of the hundreds of thousands that have 
are known gotaways that they have not caught and made it very clear that there are terrorists that have come across that border that we have not apprehended and we do not know where they're at was inside the United States of America. Folks, there are times when I wish I was wrong. Sadly, today is one of them, but I've been telling you, so have many other people on the right, that the left-leaning Democrats and the liberals of our society are a parasite to America. And especially those Democrats like Rashid Tlaib and Alihan Omar and AOC and Anina Presley that are basically celebrating Hamas because they want to see the Jewish people killed and destroyed and Israel wiped off the face of the earth, as Iran has already called for, and they're the ones that are backing the jihad movement. They're the ones that are responsible for Hamas and Hezbollah, as well as responsible for killing American service members serving when they were in Afghanistan and Iraq, in Syria, and other places across the globe. Iran is the worst parasite in the world at the moment. They are funneling and fueling whatever it takes to destroy the West. At the same time, obviously, we have the ongoing conflict with Russia and Ukraine, and we are fighting a war there as well by trying to support Ukraine to defeat Russia. We are slap dab in the middle of a third world war. And there will be more terrorist attacks, mark my word. This was just the beginning of what's to come. From talking to my personal friends that are in law enforcement, they're in federal law enforcement, county law enforcement, city and state law enforcement, as well as my friends at the Pentagon and on the ground in many locations in the military fighting these people, we'll leave it at that, there's more to come. It's very clear if you watch what has taken place in Congress with Director Ray's testimony and then that no good piece of crap, Alejandro Marcus, the Homeland Security Secretary, that absolutely does not give two shits about you and America. Folks, the day before Thanksgiving, the biggest travel day we have, and lo and behold, they strike. And I think what upsets me the most about this, and I'm sure most Americans, is that The Democrats right now, and it's a Democrat governor up in New York, are trying to downplay this as if, oh, it's just an incident. Some people just did something. Where does that sound familiar? No, some people didn't just do something. And no, it's not just an incident. It is a terrorist attack, period, plain and simple. Stick a fork in it. And the Democrats and the liberals do not want to address this as such because they know that we on the right were right all along and they were wrong. They are dead wrong and the blood of many Americans are on their pathetic, useless, un-American hands. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving in the United States military our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders and their families, our angel families, our blue and gold star families, and our country. May God bless the United States of America. May God see to it that we are able to eradicate the jihadist movement that is happening here in America and across planet Earth. Take care. Tune in on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 8 p.m. Central for the live broadcast of the Douglas Ducote Show which, by the way, will not air tomorrow night because of Thanksgiving. Unless there's something more important, it breaks. You'll hear from me next Tuesday. Until then, God bless each and every one of you. Be safe, be vigilant, 
Watch what's going on around you, wherever you're at. If you're in shopping malls, if you're at the airports, be aware of your surroundings. Because those in charge at this administration and the people they have put in charge are incompetent fools. Good night.